Mitaki api, my relatives, my name is Chief Phil Lane Jr. I'm a member of the Yankton Sioux Tribe, Ihankwa Dakota, Ihanwa Shasha, Oyate, White Swan people, and the Chickasaw Nation. Most people don't realize that prior to the arrival of our European relatives here in the Americas, there was a hundred million indigenous people living here, a hundred million. And in fact, we were very, very interdependent across the Americas. We had trade routes, or we call kinship trails, because as we traveled across the Americas and met one another and so forth, we made relatives. And so uh, when, of course, Columbus came, 1492, which he never really touch the Americas, but those diseases that we didn't have an immunity to did come. And of course, these diseases spread clear through the Americas as others came. And so we figure that by before the 1800s, probably a good 60 million indigenous people had already, if not more, died from diseases they didn't even know where they came from. And of course, that uh, that uh, uh, connected with the cultural and truly just genocide that occurred here in the United States and Canada as defined by the United Nations, not defined by Canada, United, defined by the United States, but United Nations definition of genocide. This is what happened here. But these prophecies also said that this great union of the condor, the Quetzal, and the eagle would be broken. But after a period of about 500 years, that reunion of the condor, the Quetzal, and the eagle would emerge very rapidly. And so that is what is happening as we speak. Across the United States, Columbus Day is being replaced by Indigenous Day. And it's something to see how quickly this is happening and how quickly people are awakening to the reality that for thousands and thousands and thousands of years this was in the lands of countless tribes and nations who spoke more than a thousand different languages who had unique beautiful cultures and tremendous science of understanding how to truly live in harmony with Mother Earth. And so that's why when uh, the European relatives arrived, they arrived to a paradise in a way. I mean, the, the resources that were here were seemingly unlimited. When you think about the fact that 70% of all the food being consumed today on Mother Earth was domesticated, was uh, foods that were developed here by indigenous people, it's startling. Most people don't know that. There is now a renaissance, a resurgence everywhere across the hemisphere and around the world of indigenous people. And it was foretold this would happen. It was foretold that after this period of 500 years, this time of a great spiritual education, you might say, because uh, when you go to our traditional ceremonies, whether it be a Niikaka sweat lodge or a sun dance or a longhouse, a smokehouse, in all these various ceremonies, there's many. Many times we go without food and water in very, very uh, hot conditions, you know, sometimes over 100 degrees. Or we sacrifice, you know, we, we go into ceremonies and we go into a sweat lodge where it's very hot. and You suffer in there. But what I think we've been through the last 500 years is a 500 year sun dance or a 500 year sweat lodge. Because when you are faced with incredible challenges, you have a choice of giving up or you have a choice of praying. You have a choice of really calling upon and really developing the spiritual qualities of, of forgiveness and patience and compassion and uh, acceptance. And so that's what's happened. And so here we are, 2015. I believe that, that URI, United Religions Initiative, is really on the right path. 
because the solution to what we're facing as a human family is a spiritual solution. For instance, the economic issue. It's a spiritual solution. Until people's hearts are changed, until they feel compassion for other members of the human family, we're not going to see real changes in terms of the extremes of wealth and poverty that are growing and are growing more and every time we see that any place. It's a sign of tyranny. It's a sign of injustice. It's a sign of greed. It's a sign of lack of spiritual understanding. So uh, it's great. Indigenous Day, October 12, 2015.